Uh, Boron Wood in their away kit of blue shirts, blue shorts and blue socks. Skysley in the home kit, white shirts with navy shorts and navy socks. So quickly running through the two team lineups with Geisley, Steve Drench, Ryan Tulson, Danny Lowe, Adam Lockwood, Jake Lawler, Wayne Brooksby, Adam Boyce, Tom Craddock, Will Hatfield, George Maris, and Rob Atkinson. And the starting lineup for Boreham Wood, uh, James Russell, Danny Woodard, Sam Cox, Callum Reynolds, the captain, Ricky Shakes, Charlie McDonald, Jamie Lucas, Connor Clifford, Billy Clifford, Clovis Clamjo, and Joe Devere on the benches for the Lions. Danny Boshow, Danny Hall, Dan Atkinson, Nicky Boshow, and Luke Porritt. And for Boreham Wood, Ben Nunn, Luke Howell, Junior Marias, Anthony Jeffrey, and Mustafa Tiaki. So, uh, Nick Keith has joined me in the uh, commentary box. Charlie McDonald, one of many Football League appearances. He's an excellent goal scorer for Brentford in League One a few years ago. Good knockdown from Adam Boyce. Adam Boyce finds Brooksby. Brooksby plays it across to George Marius. Marius goes for goal and puts it well over the top. We're not afraid to have a bit of a go from distance as this cross comes in from the corner towards that post. It's met and it's turned in surely. Lawler, it's no. Well, Jake Lawler was the man that sent it goal bound. It was cleared off the line not once but twice in quick succession. The cross comes back in, comes as far as Craddock. Craddock was uh, wasn't caught, but the uh, the ball didn't get away from his foot cleanly. Um, cliche bingo cards at the ready, but he's a bit of a terrier when he's in the centre of the park, isn't he? Do you know, if he was if he was six inches taller, you wouldn't say that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. It's funny how words go with things like that. Adam Boyce does well here, chases it down. Anybody there? There's Craddock. A great chance for Tom Craddock, but he pulls it over the top of the crossbar. He was leaning it's back. Back to Boyce, then to Lawler. Now, great ball across from Lawler. Finds George Maris on his left hand side. Lawler makes the overlap and run. Maris goes in field, goes for goal. Just too high. Woods turn to have a spell of possession, it seems. Now, Cam Joe. Lovely little turn and ball from Connor Clifford, plays the 1-2 with Billy, back to Connor, on the edge of the 18 yard box, goes for goal, lifts that too high over the top of the crossbar. Really good passage of play for Boreham Wood. Defense. Well, here's George Maris, bearing down, gets to the edge of the 18 yard box as well, turns away, goes for goal, pulls it back, just wide of the upright. And there we go, the referee, John Brooks, blows the half-time whistle. We've had a relatively entertaining, but goalless first half here at Nethermar. Half-time, guys in nil, Boreham Wood nil. Finds Billy. Bulge bounces up ahead of him, gets the edge of the 18-yard box though, pulls it through, looking to find Lucas, shot comes in, and he's been put in, but the offside flag is up. Less than an hour gone here at Nethermore Park. Free kick taken, right-footed by Clifford, Camjo's there, and that is as easy as you like for Clovis Camjo, completely unmarked, the biggest man in the Boreham Wood side, and he's had a free header and put it beyond Steve Drench. Absolutely textbook, very, very simple, unmarked, unchallenged. The ball delivered to his head, hammers it in to the net in front of him. This is his header. Boys keeps it in play and pulls that back to Rob Atkinson. Atkinson does well. Puts the cross in, which wasn't a bad one, nobody there. Jake Lawler was the man that was closest to getting anywhere near it. And again, he just didn't seem to have the energy to throw himself in that knockdown. Isn't great. Players backed out of that as Ricky Shakes looks to come forward. Ricky Shakes somehow gets the 18 yard box and but for a hand from Stephen Drench, guys late would be two down and that was far too simple. It was, uh, it was too late, he'd already taken the momentum out of the, the guys they move. Steve Drench takes the free kick, distributes a brilliant ball over to Luke Porritt. Now the ball with the feet of Lowe. Low goes the low ball into Nicky Boschel, almost loses his footing on the edge of the 18-yard box. Hatfield gets it, and the ball has gone in, but the referee has given the penalty. The ball goes in from Will Hatfield, who scored. Will justice be done? Nicky Boschel will take this penalty up against James Russell, bouncing on the crossbar. Nicky Boschel steps up, puts it into the bottom corner, and Geisley are level. Geisley are level, and there's only four minutes of added time. Just passed. You're no much further forward than the centre circle. The chances of lobbing the keeper from there are almost none. Throwing for Borenwood on the halfway line. Well, that's it. We're not going to get time for it as the referee 
blows the full-time whistle here at Nethermore. Geisley, they come out of this game with a point.